is definitely settling right now. And by the way, the National Weather Service did take a survey crew up in the tornado damaged area today. They ranked that tornado as an F3 on the F scale, zero the weakest, five the strongest. That would put the winds in the vicinity of 150 to 175 miles per hour. Damage in Winston, northern uh, Cullman County, southern Marshall, and DeKalb County. Uh, the, most of the damage occurred this morning between 430 and 530, a storm we won't soon forget. But the good news, things are settling down. If you notice, the rain is ended now up in the tornado damaged area. The rain level disturbance, very cold air that served to uh, accentuate the uh, activity of these thunderstorms, which, by the way, swelled to about 50, 60,000 feet. Now, here's the uh, southeastern view. We'll put the maps into motion, and, and you can see how the line of showers and thunderstorms continues to move from southwest to northeast. Because what the radar looked like, this is Doppler radar at 5 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's approximately the time that the tornado occurred and you can see that line of nasty thunderstorms extending through Alabama and this was the terrible tragic site where the tornado took the lives of at least three people. Well, what happened was we had a lot of tropical moisture heading in out of the Gulf of Mexico. We had our front doing one of these numbers and the cooler air was slamming into that area. At the same time, we had all of the heat and humidity slamming into the very same area. Then you add to that the very strong energy aloft and the end result was a dangerous combination and that's why we saw the problems around Arab and Joppa and this was what it looked like at the estimated time the tornado touched down. This one here is the one that gave us the rude awakening here in Huntsville but the second one is the one that slowly marched across the state and there was a severe thunderstorm watch in effect till 5 in the morning. It was replaced by a tornado watch starting at 4 a.m. Now, as it tracked across the state, first into Marion County, 327 a.m. warning. 345 as the storm moved into Winston County, severe thunderstorm warning, upgraded to a tornado warning at 401. And they didn't receive any damage confirmation, so when they issued the severe thunderstorm warning at Coleman County at 425, that's when Huntsville went offline. Then at 5 o'clock, the Birmingham office issued a tornado warning for Marshall County. So this storm was tracked completely by the next red Doppler radars, 